Hey guys, what's up? It's Cole. The Yokai Watch event has returned for its fourth iteration, and if you did complete this event before, they did add a brand new framers kit to this event, so there's something for you too. The starting location is from talking to the poor healed youth at coordinates of X of 9.2 and Y of 9.1. If you previously did this quest, as someone who has going to the NPC, uh, you aren't going to see the NPC here, so don't be shocked if that happens. The only requirement to do this quest is that you have to hit level 15 and then finish either the Gridanian, Lominzen, or Uldan Envoy quests. So very very quick in the main story quest line. Let's talk about the rewards that we can get from the event, and we are going to be starting off with the minions. There are honestly a truckload of different minions, all representing a bunch of different yokai watch of like themed characters like we have the Jim Binyan, the just there's so many it's actually kind of wild and so these are just a variety of options that you can get I'm not going to showcase all of them in this video because I know people just want the details and to get into the game maybe I'll do like a showcase video tomorrow but just a ton of different minions here there are some that are super cute and super iconic the next set of rewards are going to be the yokai weapons unfortunately it seems that reaper and sage which were added in endwalker do not get their weapons here i really would have been cool to see but unfortunately no but for every single other job there is a super duper cool weapon and they actually really stand out a lot now a reward that you unfortunately cannot see listed on the website is that you actually can get mounts from this event the first one is that if you collect 13 yokai weapons during the event and it doesn't seem to matter what ones just 13 of any then you're going to be getting a mount called the like whisper a go go which is like a like ghost thing that you can ride around and then if you obtain 17 yokai weapons then you get what is called the Jim Banyan couch medal and the Jin Binyan couch is like one of the single most iconic mounts in the entire game. I actually have had it in footage and people are like, wait, is that a mod? And it's like, no, that's the Jin Binyan couch. And it's very cute, it's very derpy, and I love it. It's actually really upsetting that they don't have it listed on the page at all. Actually, I just double checked and they do have only the Whisperer Gogo, -Go, but they did have the Jin Binyan couch for 17 weapons collected as well. But I do not see that on the page. And then the final big reward is that you get the Yokai Watch Framers Kit that you can buy with MGP from the NPC Nohi, which I probably should timestamp that out too. The event NPC is named Nohi, and he is going to be in the Gold Saucer, and he's going to be who you trade for all the weapons, the Framers Kit, and so on. And he's going to be at coordinates of X 5.2 and Y of 6.9. Now let's go over exactly how you're going to do the event and actually acquire the rewards because there is some little tricks to it. The first thing is that you do need to equip that Yokai Watch, which is going to be a special item that you're going to be given from the quest. And then you participate in Fates, which is any of those open world like purple icons, and that's going to be anywhere across Heaven's Ward maps, any Heaven's Ward map, anywhere across Stormblood maps, and then a Realm Reborn maps in Lenos Cha Cha, the Black Shroud, and Thanalan. And so those are going to be like the major like city hub like surrounding areas basically. Just don't be caught out going to say like Mordona or like um, an Ish Guardian map and being like why am I not getting any credit? Yeah un unfortunately for a Realm Reborn it's specifically Lindos Cha Cha, the Black Shroud, and Thanalan. Now before I say anything else and I'm gonna put it like in the timestamps it caps is like you need to have a specific minion out in order to get that minion's like medals from doing these fates and that's overall like the overarching objective you get the minion and then you pop out the minion and then you roam around doing fates with that particular minion out and with that minion out when you do fates and if you get like silver or gold rating then you have a chance to get one of these yokai medals for that particular minion type and the minion type really matters because the weapons that you buy are going to need 10 of a particular medal for each corresponding to like a particular yokai minion. Like say that you want like the black mage staff, then you are going to very specifically be going after that snow maiden minion, the blizzaria one. And so let's say that you are going for the Jim Binyan couch, you're going to need all 17 minions and you're going to need to farm out 170 different medals, like 10 for each of the different minions and get those weapons and then you're going to get the Jim Binyan couch. Just don't 
go and try and do the Fates Without Dominions out because that'll really suck and I'm sure that that will probably stump a few people just like it kind of did in the past unfortunately. Have that Yokai Watch on, get those minions and then grind out with those minions active, get their medals, then you can get the weapons. And then when you get all the weapons you get them out later. This event has many layers to it. It's it's like one of those massive to what I'm actually recommending for you to do for this event and it is very 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 specific and very very in my opinion important go in on blue mage that is like the number one thing to make this grind easier that is what i did back in 2020 that is what i'm going to recommend even today is make sure that you get on blue mage slot in every dps skill that you can and go hog wild i cannot emphasize enough that blue mage is broken 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 like even if all you have is like the ram's breath and then like um the dragon's breath which is like that lightning circle around your character i remember spamming that lightning skill with that big like circular aoe around yourself i remember explicitly spamming spamming that one and it got me a lot of events like uh, credit and it just melted the fence because you had a ton of blue mages doing it all at once and it was kind of hilarious okay now people are gonna be like what if i don't have blue mage what do you recommend i think that right now if you don't have blue mage based on my past experience and things might be a little different this time um because i'm getting this video out like as soon as the events launched and so I'm not sure if things have changed I doubt they've changed but your main goal then is going to be tagging mobs and so anything with a quick AoE spammable like ninja would be great scholar would be great I would personally avoid things that have like a, necessarily like a cast time like I think white mage might have a little bit of an issue tagging mobs and basically you're just trying to get credit like however you can trying to tag as many mobs as you can because what used to happen was the fates would just like explode they'd be like just totally over and done it and it would kind of suck for other people now the next thing is going to be where do I I recommend you go for the events what i remember doing explicitly was i was really in the gradania maps i cannot remember exactly which ones like i think i even took north shroud for a while but what i'd say probably above anything else is go into party finder and just find other people that just want to do it and i don't know across all data centers and all across all servers because gilgamesh which is the server i'm on which is absolutely the best server no bias don't take that too serious. Whenever I say that, some people take it too serious. It, it's not that serious, I promise. But um, just find someone like other blue mages in Party Finder or something like that, or come as something else, pop open your chocobo, and just go wherever they are. And that's going to be the main thing. I would recommend, however, a Realm Reborn maps over any other map. And with that, that finishes my coverage on this event for now. I might do a showcase video later. Take care, everyone. And to everyone who's leaving so many beautiful comments about the situation with me and Brendan, I love you all so much more than I can say. I I, I really appreciate it a lot. And um, yeah, I'm not going to... I I just cut recording audio early because I'm like, Darren, it, you're crying. So I'm not going to cry here but thank you all i see the comments i do and every single one of them means the world to me they really do that's not me lying they really do thank you so much thank you so much